guess I should say good morning, everybody. It's midnight and beyond. Welcome to the finale of the Delta episode. You slept well, didn't you? You look so adorable when you sleep. Sorry about the knocking you out thing. Enough. I think it's time I gave it a shot. I'm sorry for all the trouble I caused you. If something happens to me, please take this little one. Okay. Here I go. With Jewel Bright and borrowed might from the spirits of the departed. Through sacred rite, in thy great sight, my life as well I offer. Uh, uh, I summon thee to aid this fight and save us from disaster. Realize them upon this world. For this do I summon thee. Rayquaza! Rayquaza. I did it. I, I did it. Now the world will be saved. Aster. Aster, I did it. Great Rayquaza, hear my wish. Achieve your mega evolution. Take hold of your true power. Show me your true face. The Rayquaza that will save this planet. Huh? How could this be? I gathered all the keystones that could withstand your great power and summoned you here. You came. And yet, why? Come on, do it! Mega Evolve! Why? Why won't you? What? It can't be. The one without enough power is you, Rayquaza? The meteorites that should lie within Rayquaza's great body aren't enough? Have these thousand years drained them of their power? This can't be. I can't. I, everything I've done till now. Aster, I, I can't, I, I can't take any more. That's... What? That meteorite? It's just like a megastone.
Whoa. Swallowing meteorites allows it to store as much power as a megastone. Your meteorites summon forth the power needed for Rayquaza to mega evolve. Ha! It's amazing! Jeffrey! Rayquaza is trying to build up power. It wants the power for itself to take you on. Using everything you've got and win over Rayquaza. You have to master it. This is the legendary Pokemon that all Hoenn views as our great protector. And the only one who could direct it now? It's you. You have to do this. It's time for one more fight against the ultimate legendary Pokemon. All of our training be on two different dimensions, two different universes, two different timelines. It's all led to this very moment. We've already bested Rayquaza before, but now it's time to face him at his ultimate power. For the fate of all worlds and all universes, let's do this. Here we are, once again, against Rayquaza. Let's see if we could even do this. My god, we have to fight Rayquaza again. Worth a shot. I'm literally shocked it did two shakes. Uh, I just wanted to see if this was a scripted fight or not. It is not a scripted fight, so we actually do have to put in effort. How lame. It's level 70. Wasn't it level 70 when we fought it before? I think it was either 70 or 50. Either way, it was crazy powerful. I doubt any of my Pokemon could outspeed it. The only one who could survive a hit from it, though, it might just be Hariyama and Wailord. Though, after using a Dragon Dance, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, get a little bit of damage. It's hardly anything, though. Use Dragon Pulse next. Oh, God. And, jeez, it's crazy powerful. Uh, just got a little bit of power in there. Salamai is going to be pretty good. At least we, we got Mega Evolve it. We can get some extra stat boost, which is nice. That's probably what we're going to want to do next. Go ahead and switch to Salabai. And we'll use our Mega Evolution and Confuse Ray. Let's see how much good this does us. Still not faster than- Oh, he's extreme speed because it's stupid. Hooray. And now it's confused and stupid. Now let's go ahead and use Shadow Claw. Uh, yes, hit yourself with Confusion. Of course, that's the most damage it ever does- gets done to it is the one it does to itself. Okay, critical hit. Do not want to KO it. That'd be really crummy. I swear. Come on. Can I just get in a Pokeball? That'd be great. Okay, now I'm going to shake this time. Alright, stop messing around. This is the legendary Pokemon request the most annoying Pokemon in the universe to try and catch. At least in my opinion. We got Repeat Ball, Nest Ball, Premier Ball, Master Ball, not going to use the Master Ball. I went ahead and bought some more Pokeballs for this because I know we're going to be in for the long haul. Or we could get it on the third ball. Okay, then. I don't know if there's any actual proof of this, but I feel like Gen, Gen 5 onward, they made catching Pokemon ridiculously easy. Which I'm okay with because I hate catching Pokemon. It's like the most annoying part of any Pokemon game. But if that was, I don't know, it was just kind of funny. I was really hoping I actually caught on that first Pokeball. That would have been amazing. But unfortunately not. But whatever. We got Rayquaza and we are good to go.
Didn't even have to blow your lungs out or blow my lungs out and your ears out when catching it. Rayquaza wishes to join the party. Please select Pokemon you to send back to your PC boxes. Yeah, it's actually going to force its way into your party because it's required for the plot. So, hmm. Who do I want to part ways with, though? I like everybody. I guess because we already... Since it's a dragon flying type... Hmm, I'm sorry, Swallow, but I guess we're going to be saying goodbye to you for now. I guess so. Plus, it'd be kind of cruel to make any of the other Pokemon walk home. <laughs> Is it over? Congratulations, Jeffrey. And thank you. History has chosen you. The truth remains that Rayquaza chose you and not me. But while I don't know how to put it into words exactly, I think I understand why. You'll be successor to our long history now. And I pass to you the final key to Rayquaza's true power. The move that only it can learn, Dragon Ascent. That's it then. I guess it's time that I do my last task as Lore Keeper. You have obtained Rayquaza's power for your own. Now I will have you prove to me that you can master that power. In battle! That is my final, the final duty of the last Lore Keeper of the Dragonoid people. Show me that you could exceed it. The entirety of history that we have clung to until today. Phew. My pulse. I could feel it racing. Yes. I'm feeling totally pumped. Ha! This is it! One more battle with Zinnia to end things off. And she has a little monkey dance as always. Gonna start things off with Gudra, one of my favorite Pokemon. I absolutely love this thing. It's so adorable. Absolutely adore it. And the entire evolutionary line is really singing great. Rayquaza forces its way into the front of the party. What a jerk. Uh, the effects of weather disappeared, but we got more power to show off than that. We got Mega Evolution on our side, so let's go ahead and use it and start things off with a Dragon Pulse. My fervent wish to make Rayquaza evolve. And there you go. That is the most overpowered Pokemon ever. In existence, Mega Rayquaza. His special ability, Delta Stream, causing him a serious air force. Not only that, Rayquaza actually has two special abilities. The only Pokemon in existence with two special abilities. Like, I don't know what is with them making Rayquaza the most ridiculously overpowered Pokemon in existence, but it is stinking insane. But Trika gets a level up, which is very nice. Tyrantrum is next. Uh, we're going to just keep Rayquaza out because we're trying to prove ourselves. And we got to do that by using the actual legendary Pokemon of Legend. As well as the legendary Pokemon not of Legend. Go and use Dragon Pulse. We completely decimate her entire team with just one hit KOs left and right. And hey, she actually has more than three Pokemon. It's amazing. Uh, Wailor goes to level 55. Next is Altaria. Keep Rayquaza out. Uh, she has five. I kind of wish she had a full team of six, but whatever. Uh, I guess the sixth slot is for her Wismer when I think about it, because it doesn't actually battle, but it transfers along with her, so now it makes sense. Uh, we got that. Torque will go to level 60. Really wish Swell was getting on some of these levels. Noivern. Really cool Pokemon. I think we get to see all these different Dragon types from all different generations, which is really cool. Oh, with their own individual frame rate issues. And down goes Noivern. Up next is a level up for Salabi. Salamence, of course. Uh, this isn't her last Pokemon, though, is it? Intimidate might make things a bit awkward. Uh, it is. So how about for the final battle, or the final attack, we'll use Dragon Ascent, the legendary move. And hey, looks like she's Mega Evolving as well. 
Mega Salamence, as if it needed a Mega Evolution. And it looks really sick and dorky. Use Dragon Ascent to fly to the sky! And it didn't even one hit KO it, that's really lame. Defense fell, special defense fell. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, wow, you actually one hit KO'd it. That's really weird. Uh, it's gonna be real awkward if I end up dying to this thing. Uh, Salabai, get out there. Was not expecting it to die, but okay. Fight. Oh, I can't Mega Evolve twice in one. Okay, that's a bit awkward. Dragon Claw. Well, at least we have an actual challenge here. A uh, little bit of damage. Okay. Using Dragon Claw again. Thankfully, she's not using healing items. As long as she doesn't do that, we're good to go. Uh, it's a Dragon Flying type. Let's just use Hariyama or Waylord. Uh, I know water isn't very effective, but it'll have to do. Thunder Fane. Of course, it has an electric attack. Oh, jeez. Surf. And we are good to go. Even though there is one legendary Pokemon we can rely on for everything, it's always good to rely on all the friends you have available to you. Because in the end, we're all in this together. Just like I'd expect of you, Jeffrey. No. I guess it falls to you now. That settles it then. Jeffrey, you should even be able to beat the meteoroid that's approaching the planet. You and Rayquaza, together. I'm leaving this task to you, our new successor. Successor Jeffrey, you and Rayquaza must protect nature, Pokemon, and people. This is the final battle in the Delta episode against the legendary Pokemon Deoxys in space! 
Okay, even if you don't like this game, even if you think the story's ridiculous, you've really got to take a moment to appreciate just how far we've come from our little adventure on the Game Boy. From just walking around in grass and caves and all that jazz, to flying a stinking dragon into outer space and slicing a meteor in half, and having a legendary Pokemon battle in space. It's so stinking cool! I don't care what you guys say. I don't care if you think it's all corny and cheesy. And yeah, it is, but it's so stinking cool. And like the payoff of just seeing this for the first time, it was stinking amazing. And I just wanted to show this off. This is like the whole reason I wanted to do the Delta episode because it is so stinking cool! Now, enough dorking out and geeking out and spinning all over my 3DS screen. Let's just go ahead and catch ourselves a legendary Pokemon. Question! Do I use Rayquaza? I'm kind of concerned because it might be too powerful. Oh god, I don't want to accidentally KO this thing, but... When in doubt, I guess? I'm surprised we were able to throw it that far with the whole anti-gravity thing. Yeah, it didn't even stand a chance, okay. Use Recover, but didn't have any HP to recover, so gonna use Extreme Speed. Not the same type of attack bonus, so hopefully it won't be too powerful. Okay, we might not want to use Rayquaza. Oh god. Gonna use another Ultra Ball, I guess? You could use your other Pokemon here in outer space. Apparently they could survive in outer space, but we can't, so let it be known, I guess. Okay, I would've been I would have laughed at that. I actually caught it using recover again, okay. This is back up to full HP, so I can use extreme speed once more. Uh, no, not to use that. Use extreme speed. It'd be really crummy if you came all this way and then it ended up KOing the stinking Deoxys. And Ruby Sapphire Net Psycho Boost. I think that's an ex exclusive move. Oh, jeez. Uh, Ruby Sapphire and Emerald. I believe you. Uh, Deoxys was only attainable through a Nintendo event, but in this game, you could get him right in the after game, which is really nice. Trico, you're a starter. You deserve to be in space more than anyone. Let's go. Standing on space, which is amazing. Uh, let's go ahead and use uh, another Ultra Ball. And of course, as you all know, Deoxys has many has four different forms that give it sort of the ultimate stats. You can choose it to be like the ultimate offense Pokemon, ultimate defense Pokemon, ultimate special Pokemon, or ultimate speed Pokemon. But this is just the normal form, so it just basically has good stats all around. And it has even better stats when it uses Cosmic Power. Gonna go ahead and use another Ultra Ball. So it looks like there's a bit of a challenge to this one, so we just gotta keep on keeping on. I remember being super quick when my first time playing of catching Rayquaza and Deoxys. It was like super duper quick uh, and when I caught them, but might not be that way this time around. I do have Max Revives though, so. And also, Trico survived a Hyper Beam from a Deoxys. Let that be known. That is stinking awesome, Trico. You're the best. And of course, it keeps on breaking out of the balls, though. Uh, let's see. I do have max revives. I'm definitely going to be using them in this fight because it would be kind of unfortunate if I had to do this again. And it's the end of the Delta episode, so I don't really have anything else to use them on. One, two, three. But we don't have to worry about that because Deoxys has been caught. And with that, the Delta episode is complete. Deoxys, the DNA Pokémon, a Pokémon that mutated from an extraterrestrial virus exposed to a laser beam. Its body is configured for superior agility and speed. I was finally able to bring everything to an end. I thank you for that. I think I'll spend some time now trying to find out if it's also possible to forge a new beginning for something once lost. Until we meet again, Zinnia. The 
energy reading appears to be diffusing. We can confirm that the meteoroid has been destroyed, sir. Professor! The meteoroid! The meteoroid! It's take the powers above! It's... Calm yourself, man. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm so happy I could kiss you! We did it! We actually did it! Wahahahahaha! Success is ours! Ha <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. I'll be leaving then. Goodbye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Wait a minute, Wally. That's right. Are you okay? You looked like you were in trouble recently. When those thugs came around. Of course. My Pokemon and I are fit for anything. See, Jeffrey got my keystone back for me. And Mr. Norman gave me a ticket to a resort that sounds really neat. I can't wait to go and check it out. My, my. I never dreamed I would one day think that Wally was too well. Yes, but he looks so honestly happy that I can't help but feeling happy too. Bro, sorry. Archie, it looks like Matt feels sorry for what he's done. It's unforgivable. Ah, bro. Absolutely unforgivable! Um, Archie? I can't forgive what I've done. Huh? I drove my own loyal crew to such despair as this. I have no right to call myself a leader anymore. I'm... I'm sorry, Matt. I truly am. Oh, uh, bro! I'm planning to start everything over from scratch, Matt. What happened back then with Kyogre, and what happened this time? Look, you can't do anything if you're all wrapped up in what you believe. Team Aqua or Team Magma, Pokemon or people. There's no reason why we've got to pick just one of them. It might be a pain. It might cost some extra money to buy both versions of the game. It might even be a bit scary. But we've got to get take that step into the unknown. Mix with the people who aren't like us. That's the kind of Team Aqua that I want us to be from now on. You think you could be a part of that kind of Team Aqua? Matt? Oh, you... You bet I will! I can't believe these two. What do they think they're doing standing there with their faces all wet in tears? Well, I guess it could be worse. I still owe you for your help at the Sky Tower. Thank you for that. Ha 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 ha! How unlike you to be so thoughtful. Huh. You know, this experience really brought it home for me again. That there is still so much about this world that I do not know. I wonder what would have happened to Hoenn if Jeffrey had not been there to aid us with this and the incident with the super ancient Pokemon. I alone was powerless to stop either. There is no one person in this world who knows all. None who can do all. Steven... There's no such cause for such worries or concern. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not that I'm so shocked by my own disappointing performance. But rather... Rather what? I was just thinking how much more there is. I must learn about the nature and Pokemon. And about my fellow humans as well. If I am to keep living in this huge wide world... I want to walk this world on my own two feet, to see it with my own eyes, to feel it on my very own skin. I need to put into practice all of the advice I ever gave to Jeffrey. That's what I'm thinking now. Steven, you can't intend to. Ha ha ha, but no need to fear. I won't just disappear at once. I'm still I'll be around doing my duty on behalf of the Pokemon League. But, hmm, when the time does come for me to pursue my own hopes, well, I hope that you, Wallace, 
will be behind me to lend a hand. Hmm, it seems I have little choice. I bow to the whims of the pampered heir. I, Wallace, will do this thing that you wish. Heh. Ha ha ha! Thank you, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha! Esther, it's over. It's all over. Zinnia, my child. Granny. You have worked so hard. It is enough, child. Be done with your burden. Let it go now. For everything there must be an ending. Only then, only then can there be a new beginning. This is Im immutable truth that all living things on this planet, great and small, must accept. We draconoids have seen it in our history, as you have seen it in your own life. Now is the time for rest. Let down the great burden you have, Bones. A uh, Bone returns again, god darn it. Born so long ago. So that you might at last take a step forward toward new life. Now this is the time for rest. Yes. I suppose May and Jeffrey have probably arrived by now. I imagine so. The weather is good today. They should get a good view of the stars. But you know, I really am glad we moved here from Johto. I think that meeting you, Birch, and Mrs. Birch, and little May, has had a huge impact on Jeffrey's life. Oh, it's just the same for our May. Don't you agree, dear? Of course! Whether whenever she does make up whenever she does make it home, all May has to talk about is Pokemon and her precious friend Jeffrey. I think she's over the moon about this adventure and the great friend she's found. I think our boy is just the same. He always looks so happy these days. I hope you'll continue to look after our Jeffrey for many more years to come. <laughs> Why, Norman, you don't even have to ask. Nothing could make me happier. <laughs> Thanks, old friend. Well then, dear, isn't it about time we are headed back home? I should get supper started. Oh yes, those kids are probably going to be starving when they get home. Oh, I didn't think to make any plans for dinner yet. What do you think we should have, dear? Hmm, how about our little boy's favorite? Cheesy shells? Velveeta! That was amazing. So those are the Litlanoids. I'm really going to need to thank your dad for this one. Cuz, come on. I've never felt this touched before. Oh, I guess I should thank you too, Jeffrey. I'm so glad I got to see this with you. Thank you for visiting the Moss Deep Space Center. The center will be closing shortly. Please make sure you don't forget anything when you leave. It's true that what they say though, time really flies when you're having fun. Well, 
Bye then. Jeffrey? See you tomorrow. You're back at last. Welcome home, Jeffrey. Thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Pokemon Delta Emerald. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Sweet dreams.